Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomepage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomepage.com app. And you can see the big upper level low, which is making its way across the Red River Valley right now, making its way into northwestern Texas. And it looks as though we are beginning to see the worst of the rain finally move out of the Arkletex. Still some wraparound moisture to deal with, especially across the northern half of the area tonight. But as this system and the low at the surface move away, we will see some improvement. As we give you a look at the surface map, uh, you can see the... Uh, low at the surface over southern Mississippi is going to slide its way towards the north and as it eventually moves off towards the north and east that's when what's left of the rain will end tomorrow morning. We'll start off with lots of clouds and likely end with some sunshine over much of the Arcotex uh, during your Friday afternoon. All that said of course the result of all the rain that we've seen here recently will bring about uh, some issues on area lakes and rivers that we'll get to in a second but temperature wise uh, we're looking at uh, lows a little bit cooler with the main core of upper level low uh, the cold air loft moving over us. That's going to result in some colder temperatures tonight as we dip into the upper 30s across most of the Arcletex. Tomorrow as that moves away we'll see more sunshine and as a result it will warm up with highs basically in the low to middle 50s including 53 in Texarkana and 53 degrees also for the high temperature in Shreveport. Now I mentioned the uh, area lakes and rivers. Here's a breakdown on some of the areas, uh, uh, bigger lakes and rivers that are in flood right now. This in Shreveport, not looking at flooding conditions, but you probably notice the river is running high. It will likely rise another uh, couple of feet, up to 28.5 feet, but that will be below flood stage here as it is still expected to crest uh, sometime late Friday evening. Uh, downstream, Grand Accor, you can see the state now uh, about 33 feet uh, should rise to 34 and a half feet by the time we get to Sunday morning. That is a minor flood according to the weather service as that crest will occur again late this weekend. Uh, other issues, uh, Lake Bistano expected to crest. This is, forecast has been revised upwards up to 143.5 feet and further rise is still possible as this is at the tail end of um, this uh, forecast period but still looking at a crest uh, in the neighborhood of 143 5, maybe 144 before it's all said and done. So uh, nonetheless, uh, Lake Bistano also expected to continue to rise. So we're looking at another uh, basically half foot to a foot of additional rises along Lake Bistano here before it begins to slowly fall late next week. Wallace Lake also expected to crest this weekend. Uh, the revision has not taken place here. Still looking at a crest at 156 feet, now approaching 152 feet. So another four feet of rise possible on Wallace Lake causing some major flooding along the lake there. And uh, Caddo Lake, which I thought I had in the sequence here but don't, is expected to uh, crest, I believe, uh, a little bit higher than yesterday at 172.5 if memory serves me correctly is what we're looking at as far as Cattle Lake is concerned so minor flooding possible there but uh, the lake maybe another half foot of rise along Cattle Lake. Here's a look at uh, Futurecast taking you through the uh, evening and nighttime hours tonight. You see as we go into the evening hours that main area of rain that's moving across the area now will continue to shift out of the area. Uh, probably tonight the heaviest rains will occur over the northern edge of the area and even that not looking too much as far as intensity. I don't anticipate seeing any winter precipitation now across the Oracle Tex and you can see we could have a few leftover showers across the northern sections of the area early. Those clouds will gradually move out giving way to some late day sunshine for your Friday afternoon and that clearing trend will continue tomorrow night as we become clear and that'll set the stage for a sunny weekend. Lots of sunshine both tomorrow as well as Sunday uh, with much warmer temperatures as upper level ridging will take the place of that upper level low resulting in above normal temperatures. As far as uh, the excessive rainfall outlook obviously not an issue for tomorrow as the rain moving out. Here's the upper level low which is going to move away. There's the ridging which will result in the nice break and then here's a quick disturbance which moves through Monday. It could give us a shot for some rain. Then you can see the ridging once again right across the middle of the country which will keep us dry for most of next week. Uh, some models indicating this disturbance here could bring us a little bit of rain late next week but right now it doesn't look nearly as heavy compared to what we have experienced here over the last couple of disturbances that have moved through the Arkletex. As far as additional rain I'd say probably a bit overdone. Might see a half an inch to an inch across the northern sections of the area. Other than that a lot of this has already fallen. Uh, I would say another quarter to a half an inch over East Texas and Northwest Louisiana moving forward here as the heaviest of the rain obviously is beginning to move out of the area. So this is what it looks
looks like as far as your forecast, looking pretty nice as the worst is behind us here. Uh, I say nice for the weekend. Tomorrow still lots of clouds, kind of cool, high 53. But notice the mid 60s in Shreveport for highs for the weekend with sunshine. Uh, possibility for that quick shot of rain late Monday, Monday night, but not looking at too much. And then the rest of next week. <clears throat> Excuse me, for the most part, looking dry and mild with highs in the mid to upper 60s in Texarkana. You are looking at sunshine for the weekend with highs in the low to mid 60s, slight chance of rain Monday, and again quiet for the rest of next week. So all in all, it looks like the worst of the rain is over as we look ahead to a sunny and warmer weekend.